In this video, I'm giving you one tip for each gun in Valorant. My name is Buster, and on this channel, I make educational Valorant content for you to improve at the game. If that sounds interesting to you, hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out when I got new videos for you guys. Let's start off with the pistols. My tip for the classic is, use right click when close and sometimes mid range, but don't use it too much. For the shorty. You shouldn't really be using it in the first place, but if you have to, then the only real tip I can give you is to play close range, that's all you gotta do. Or the frenzy. Don't be afraid to tap fire when you aren't close. Spraying no matter the range will assure that you'll be missing most of your shots and running out of ammo quickly. Ghost. Counter strafe and tap for the head if you're mid to long range. Spam on the chest area if you're close. Spamming in the chest area will in most cases make the recoil go up to the head and you'll get some quick kills. Or the sheriff. Jiggle peek and take your time and aim for the head. You want to be focusing on getting a lot of headshots and this is the easiest way to do it in my opinion. Moving on to SMGs, for the stinger, play aggressively and try your best not to fight long range. Spectre, spray if you're close, burst if you're further away. I never tap with a spectre as it doesn't deal enough damage for tap fighting to be effective and in turn you'll lose most fights to take. Running and gunning isn't a bad idea with a spectre either and I find it to be very effective especially versus ecos. Moving on to shotguns. For shotguns I'm just gonna do both at the same time because they play similarly and my one tip for shotguns is play close range. There is nothing really else you can do about it, no trick to aiming or getting kills really. There is one thing to keep in mind though, if you really want to play a lot of shotguns then I recommend you play jet as you can dash away if you got a kill close range and jet is also more accurate in the air with shotguns than other characters. For rifles, let's start off with a bulldog. Don't be afraid to take long range fights with the burst fire mode. I find this to be very effective for me because I'm very accurate while doing it but generally don't buy the bulldog if you don't really have to. You'll in most cases benefit from buying a more expensive rifle instead of the bulldog. For the guardian, stand completely still and never spam as the recoil gets out of hand very quickly when doing so. Going for one taps and clean kills is the best idea with the guardian, but same as the bulldog, generally I wouldn't use this gun. I know some people really like it, but I don't really see the hype around it. Phantom, don't ADS at all. ADSing can be justified sometimes with guns such as the Vandal, Guardian, Bulldog, etc. But I can't think of a single scenario where aiming down sights would be helpful with the Phantom. Or the Vandal. Warm up doing headshot only Vandal deathmatch, meaning you're not focusing on killing people, but instead only tapping heads. Doing this consistently will increase your headshot percentage and KD with the Vandal significantly. For the Marshal, my one tip is. Hip firing is actually a decent tactic to use. When you're close to an enemy, instead of pulling out a pistol and spamming away, hip firing could be beneficial as this could grant you a very quick kill if you manage to hit your shot. Operator. Think of how the enemy is going to peek before you position your crosshair. If the spot you're holding is a spot where people usually peek slowly, then you should hold your crosshair closer to where they're coming from. But if you're holding a spot where people usually wide peek or just run out, hold your crosshair further away from where the enemies come from as this will allow you to minimize the distance you'll have to flick. Moving on to the heavy category. Ares. My tip for the Ares is to only buy it on force by rounds, if even at all. The only real reason you'd want to buy a heavy gun is for the wallbang potential, but it's not worth the investment, so try and stay away from this. If you would buy it, then I think it's an okay gun after winning the pistol round, since you'll be against an eco, but even then I'd prefer just having the spectre or something else like that over the Ares. At the end of the day it's all preference, but I don't think this gun is worth it. For the Odin. Shoot through everything. Literally. You want to take full advantage of this. Mid doors on Haven, B main on Ascent and Hook on Bind are all great spots to play with the Odin. The thin walls allow you to do a lot of damage and potentially get some free kills wall binging with the Odin. This is the only real justification for buying an Odin in my opinion, as in most other cases you'll benefit from just buying a rifle instead. Click the playlist on screen right now to get better at Valorant. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe and like for more content like this.